Hello, welcome back to Simon's. Pee Thank you for once again joining us as we delve um, deeply into the mysteries of news and olds. Yes. And adverts. You say news and olds because we got some some older news. Um, a bit out of date. Not about old people. Because <clears throat> we're a little bit behind. But well, maybe it is. Maybe. Old maybe. news. Old news. We can't call it that. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, it, maybe it's... Just in case you missed it. Elder news. news. Just in case you missed it. Just in news. case you missed it. Just in case you missed it news. You may have heard this on other podcast news. Yeah, I have heard some of these. And it's annoying because they've been on this list for fucking weeks. Well... But that's what happens. Who cares? Just because other people have talked about it, it doesn't mean that we can't just talk about it and, you know, maybe, four months after they have. <laughs> just be, and they've maybe already made all the funny jokes as well. Yeah. So if you've heard this already and they've made funnier jokes than us. I try not to pay too much attention. Right. When I when I hear other podcasts list, you know, talking about a story that I'm going to cover. And then you just la 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 la. And just zone it out. Sure, that's good. You want to avoid spoilers. You know, yeah. for pee pee. Pee pee spoilers. Go on then. We got some weird. There's weird stuff today, Lewis. Let's... It's weird. So this is this is an older man, um, a 74 year old man named John Jeffs. Oh. Not to be confused with Jeff Johns. Hmm. It's another man. Big Jeff. Big Jeff Johns. Big Jeff Johns. Yeah. Who's he? Tom's nodding. Big like Jeff. He knows who he is. Bristol. Big Jeff. Who the fuck is Big Are you Jeff Johns? Kidding me. I don't know who that is. How the fuck do you not know Big Jeff? He's a very large man. Think Hodor, Christian Nairn style. Uh, Big man. Sure. Just large, all over. Tall, wide, big man. Just a large man. He's a big man. That's why they call him Big Jeff. Okay. So not to be confused with him, because the name is similar. It's not Jeff Johns. It's John Jeffs, who's the man who had, uh, had fuck with a Henry Hoover in church. His, what? his church. What are you saying? This is the news story. The vicar, John Jeffs, again, not Jeff Johns. This um, is about as British as it gets. A vicar wearing only stockings. Yeah, he was wearing stockings as well. Important little detail. Was having sex with a Henry Hoover yeah. in church. He was seen thrusting into the vacuum and later told police he felt naughty. Listen, maybe he was just... <sighs> Cleaning it out, you know? Mm. With his cock. Well, maybe, you know. Um, I think he, he just had a shower and he changed into a loose-fitting dressing gown and stockings. Yes. Well, you like he, to feel comfortable. He just he just saw that there was some dust on the floor and was like, we well, get rid of this. Doesn't I'm, like it in the house of God. Yeah, God's not going to be happy. Cleanliness is next to godliness, as it says in Matthew uh, 4.20. <laughs> so yeah. I get the head of Hoover out and, and then he trips on the cord Goes flying And before he knows it whoop, He's inside And then Someone discovers him I'm not quite sure who discovers him In the story I'm probably the, <clears throat> the, the cleaning lady or someone Oh my god It just gets worse doesn't it Anyway um, So Lewis <laughs> He was caught in the act by a churchgoer who was attending the church for a fundraiser for Asperger's syndrome? Yes. Oh no, it's awful. And they walk in, and the they just see him in church with in nothing a, in a nude, apart from a pair of stockings, having sex with a Henry the Hoover. Was it? I mean, a victimless crime? Question mark. If he wasn't discovered. I mean, he has been put on the sex offenders register. Okay. What about... Because it was considered a public place. I see. Place. I see. Yeah. Whew. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, just how did, how did the Henry Hoover... Was he into it? Did he have the smiley face? That's, I think he has to have the smiley face because he doesn't have a choice, right? Mm-hmm. Or is... maybe he's just putting on a brave face. The interesting thing... Making the best of it. I want to know whether, like, maybe he's married. What is the arm thing that Don't you're... Don't worry about it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe the vicar 
Is that he's married to the Henry the Hoover? Maybe he because civil... he could have done it himself in secret. Yeah. Right? Can that happen? Can a vicar marry himself yeah. in secret? To no, I think Hoover. there's got to be witnesses, isn't there? I don't think you can just. Well, it's so you also, have to have a third party. This officiate. is very like modern because it's not a Henrietta Hoover. You know, he's a. Technically, that would have to be a gay marriage. I want. Because, of course, God did make Adam and Eve, not Adam and Henry the Hoover. <laughs> <sighs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, well, the joke's this good on the podcast you listen to about this. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Um, you just blanked them out. I hope we could so. just be repeating them. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone would have said that. Uh, I don't know if, like... Americans would even know what a Henry Hoover is. They've got right? Google. They've Googled this. It's a very British thing, the Henry Hoover, isn't it? I mean, for some reason they've managed to... I think they got in, like, the the, the school supplies catalogue or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And, and every time any school oh, or is. office needed a fucking Hoover, they looked in the catalogue where you get all your desks and stuff from, and it was in there. And they've just kept going. A little bit like London taxi cabs or something, or the buses, you know? It's just this little company making them, and they're still going all these years on. And there are there are there's not just Henry. There's a whole family, right? Really? Yeah. Have you not seen? Oh God, Hetty. 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 That's it's the Hetty. one I was thinking of. She's got eyelashes, so you know she's a girl. That's it, right? James. Oh. And George? It's like Thomas the Tank Engine, They isn't are, it? aren't they? A little bit. James, George and Henry. I like that they're different colours as well. They're kind of a slightly more... <clears throat> a slightly larger one. Look, George is... George is huge. George is a fucking unit. These are like fetishes. What? Do you know what I mean? Henry fetish... Henry... Henry fuckers. I call them. Like that big... <laughs> <laughs> There's probably loads of them out there. <laughs> Henry fuckers. Well, look, this isn't the first time I've heard about someone fucking a Hoover, is it? You've heard about people fucking Hoovers fa since Never, ever. Never, ever heard of this before people, in my life. The idea is that they, they're sucking. They've got a sucky hole tube thing. They suck. They're suckers. They're sucking away. You might want more power. You might want... Oh, God. Like oh a, my God, a bigger hole. Charles. Charles. There's a Charles. He's got pro tools. Oh, he and he's sure tough does. features. He sure does. Oh my god, that one. Harry! Oh my god. There's a fucking Harry! Harry has a hero brush. We gotta get one. Can we get one for the office? £169.99. Looks a bit like him. Let's get a fucking Harry. Harry the Hoover. Add to basket. 169 nice. Put a Henry Micro. Micro, that's if you've got a tiny cock. Use the Henry Micro. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, that's it. That's the range. Harry, Charles, George, James, Hetty, Henry, right? It's a whole family. A whole family. I'm just saying that this must them. be... It's probably not even on the dark web. It's probably just like an open Reddit about it where people are, like, doing this, you know? This isn't the weirdest thing on the internet even to, for me to talk about. This sounds, like, fairly mundane, you know? May the Dark Lord Satan have mercy on myself of what I'm about to Google. You're not in church, Simon. I mean, the vicar's already done worse than this. You know, and he was in a church. Is it... Oh, they did spell it wrong in the article. They Hoover had two fuckers. C's in the article. Weird. Sex. Um, oh Reddit vacuum sex. See, look, Reddit to explain. Oh, you? my God. I. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. This is the real deal. This Fucking is Dickinson's hell. real deal. Reddit.com slash r slash sex. Oh, look at the URL. It's got 69 in it. What's the sex number, Lewis? <clears throat> this is from Filthy McBastard. <laughs> 12 years ago. See what I mean? It might sound like a joke. Filthy McBastard. But give it a try. Fabricate some sort of flow restrictor so the vacuum doesn't suck as vigorously as it normally would. This is why people use those Henrys, because they've got very low suck. You don't want your cock being totally ripped off. Oh, you just God. want like a nice suck over it, I guess. 
Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Secure your testicles before you proceed. <laughs> having one I always do, every time. <laughs> having oh, one of them yep. get sucked into the hose next to your penis is not only painful mm. but terrifying. So I guess you have to like sellotape your testicles down. You could have like a like a, a ring or, or something. You would strapped. swear to God that your nut is going to be shredded by the fan oh, at the fuck. far end of that hose. So, uh, do you know what I mean? This has been going on for a while. People have been... Honestly, at least to secure your testicles, that's, that seems like a really good tip, mm. right? If you learn nothing else from that comment, at least you've got Maybe that. Maybe that's why he used the stockings. You know what I mean? Maybe they were like He's holding... a man in his 70s, so he probably has like one ball in each stocking, right? Yeah. And then stocking top. Yeah. Yeah. That would make sense to me. Just tucks them away. Mm. This testicle's just an inverted V shape. Let's Dang move you. on from this anyway. Sorry. Uh, elder news. A 99 year old woman. Catarina Orduña Perez. Sure. She, her dying wish. Yeah. Was to have a giant dick on her grave. And, I mean, look at it. It's almost the size of the man. It's massive. There's a huge stone phallus, the size of a man, a vertically stood upright man. Um, and that's, that's being forklifted into her, onto her grave. And she asked for this. Yeah, she asked for this. She had a great sense of humour. She, she loved okay. cock. Did she? Um, Mexico City. A five and a half foot tall cock and balls weighing, weighing nearly 600 pounds. You can read. Just about. Good for you. Good 600 for you. pounds. That's like $500. It represents uh, it, her love and joy for life, um, apparently. <laughs> she wanted to break the paradigm of everything Mexican. Uh, that's absolutely not the words that she used, right? Sure. Where things are sometimes hidden because of not having an open mind. She was always very avant-garde, very forward-thinking about things. She always said... Nana! Nana! What do you want in your grave, Nana? A big cock and ball! <laughs> <laughs> Is that really how it happened? Is that really how it happened? Do you reckon she like, said it as a joke once and the family always joked about it? Yeah. And she never thought it was actually going to happen. I think, okay, I'm picturing the scene. She's lying in her deathbed, very serene, ragged breaths. It's not long, maybe minutes. She's calling the lawyer. Her family are downstairs. The doctor's sort of breaking the news to them. I'm sorry, but your nana, she's not got long left. This is her final moment. I'm glad that you could all be here. Just, you know, not too much excitement. She's not maybe not going to understand too much of what's going on. Just be there, and she'll know that you're there. Um, it's very important, these last few moments. Make them nice for her. And Nana's upstairs. She's in bed. She looks out the window. And there's a naked man just swinging his cock and balls <laughs> around. And she's like... And then the door opens and her family come in. I'm like, Nana, Nana, we're all here. Our whole family's here. And she's like... <laughs> Nana, Nana. Oh, shit. Her mind's going. She's still like, the man's gone out the window. No, he's left. But all she can think about is that there was a naked man just swinging his cock and balls around. Like, Nana, is there any final wishes? Like, maybe you'd like something nice for your grave. We can we could do that for you. Cock and balls! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nana. You sleep now. We'll sort that out. I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's finally dead. <laughs> yeah, and so I guess they, maybe she was a whimsical soul, you know? She liked to, she liked to troll people. You could be an, a, a, a troll and a grandma at the same time. That works. So she had a, an affinity for penises. Right. And what she believed that penises represented. Right. And what do they represent? So she would refer to, like, her family as Virgus. Maybe that's how it's pronounced. I can't imagine it being pronounced anyway. Which literally pretty much means cock. Right. It's used as an insult. Or it could be a compliment, like something's badass. If something is badass, 
It's Virgo. Like Baller. So I think that's kind of why she referred to like her family as being Virgos. Like we're we're all badass. We're cock and balls. We're cocks. We're big, strong cocks. Yeah, all of us. So that's presumably, you know... That was her thing. She would refer to her family as being cocks. Yeah, and they were like, ha, 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 ha. And then so we, they tried to move on. And then but she's she like, was... no, but seriously. Yeah. When yeah. I die, I want a giant cock on my grave. Yes. And, and they're like, Nana, okay, Grandma. Uh, you sure you don't want, I don't know, like an angel <laughs> or, you know, something nice? I've already had it carved. Grim, Re- Grim Reaper. Yeah. Maybe Eddie out of uh, Iron Maiden. <laughs> Sure. Smoking a blunt. <laughs> right, no. No. No, a five and a half foot tall, gigantic cock and balls. Yeah. Made of solid stone. Um, strange, isn't it? Well, it's you know what? strange. I think you should be allowed oh to... Oh, my Jesus God. Christ. We can't show this on YouTube. We're going to have to blur this out, Lewis. It's got a, it's got um, a little cross there, a little Jesus cross. Can we do it. what they do in, like, Japanese pornography and just put, like, a tiny, like, line on it A tiny something? black... Rectangle. Or like a few pixels, but you can clearly still see that it's a cock. Mm. Well, a lot of pink. I'm surprised that the local they managed to get planning permission for this or whatever. You know, the local churchyard would were cool with it. Or maybe it's on like private land or something, oh, so maybe. she doesn't even need to. It's not in like a public cemetery. It's their private family, like you know. There's like a vault and stuff there, clearly, from the picture. Yeah, or like a whole house going on, just with a huge cock and balls on it. On the roof. It, apparently it took 12 people almost a month to build it. Wow. And they apparently had particular difficulty with the testicles. Okay, there must be some reasons for this. There's the, the video of it being unveiled. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's... Someone's put like a handkerchief over a cock. And then the gentleman no idea is what he's giving a speech in Spanish saying this is what she wanted. <laughs> and then everyone claps. <laughs> wow. That is a thing. This is her before she dies. She was very old. She was very old. <laughs> so, old people news? Question mark. Not sure if he's an old person, but he's got old man energy. For sure. Um, a man got onto a sleeper train and spent the night. A sleeper train, uh, if people aren't aware, it's a train you get on and you go to sleep on it. And then you wake up and you're in... You've magically teleported to Edinburgh or whatever. Yeah, it's a good idea, honestly. Um, so they leave late at night and they arrive early in the morning. I could get behind it. Like, you know, you'd think that the, the noise of the, the rails, the clackety-clack, would put you to sleep. It's quite comforting, isn't it, sitting on a train? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Don't know how much of that they still do. Yeah, probably... Maybe just for fun. It gets right, boring, no, you're right. Doesn't it? But that's part Have of... you seen what train drivers actually do? What? They've just got like a lever and that's it, pretty much. Well, they... They don't, they don't steer it. They probably don't even like do the lever anymore. It's probably all automated. It's a robot. It's yeah. like a Johnny Cab from uh, Total Recall. Sure. I wondered what that was. Yeah. Thank you for filling me in. So, of course, so he got on, fell asleep, and then... Woke up after a lovely night's sleep and they were still in the same place. So obviously what happened is he overslept and it went up to from London to Edinburgh and then went back from Edinburgh to London. Right. And he woke up and he'd done two journeys. No, that's not that's not what that's happened. That's not how that would have worked. It didn't move. It just stayed there. Oh, it's Glasgow to London. Right. Not London to Edinburgh. But it's Glasgow. Three hundred and forty five mile journey. Pretty far. It's pretty fast, especially UK trains. Not the fastest. So, so what happened? What's the actual story? So it usually takes seven and a half hours. So they they got all the passengers on, I yeah. assume, 
at 10 p.m. Yeah. And they were like, night, night, everyone. Good night. Off you go to bed. Good night. They and give then them they, the they obviously had some issue where the train driver didn't turn up. That but, is what it's, it must be, And right? then it was like 1 a.m. And then it was like 2 a.m. And they still hadn't left. And they were like, well, we can't leave now. But we don't want to wake everyone up. He's, so, he gets, so he gets on the train at half 10. He was asleep by 11, out like a light. He wakes up at 5 a.m. Someone's knocking on the door. They give him a coffee and a sausage roll, which is great service, by the way. Fantastic. And then explains to him that the train hasn't moved and that they're not in London. <laughs> they're still in Glasgow. And then you have to get off because they need to use the platform for a different train. Right. Oh, right. So they have to... But so, at least he got a coffee and a sausage roll. And a good night's sleep, I assume. Yeah. Um, but And I assume he got his money back, you know. Sounds like an adventure. <laughs> it's not really an adventure, is it? You get into a train, fall asleep. You wake up and you're given a sausage roll and a coffee. It's a very old man thing to do. Yeah. You do we hear don't a... know if he... Oh, no, there he is. That's him. So he's actually not really that old. He's not actually that old, Lewis. He looks pretty fucking old to me. It's Bald. male pattern baldness. Lewis, 70% of men suffer from it. He could be anywhere. It's actually very common in men over 40. From 40 to 80. Look at him. He's, he looks old. Don't you? Yeah, you're probably fine, actually. I don't know. It's receding a little bit, but I think you just have a natural widow's peak. Yeah, it's very... Um... Thank you. No. Five years' time. Dun, dun, Bold dun. as a coot. <laughs> We're both sat here still doing this fucking show. <laughs> Hopefully. Completely bold. Well, let's, let's hope. With blankies over our laps. Oh, uh, oh, Louis, do you remember? Do you remember Shadow of Israel? <laughs> People still fucking going on. Simon, you've, I'm 50 years old. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Good times. Yeah. Well, it's just old people news. Yeah, I like it. I like I like this. I like that they just didn't want to wake him up, you know, yeah. at like 2 a.m. or whatever. So there was a heat ra- wave, a heat rave. Is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, there was a heat rave. There was disruption on the railways. I see. So I guess in the chaos. They were, they just decided to let people sleep through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is... You know, this is how you get, like, murder on the Orient Express or something. You know, people get snowed in on a train. They get trapped. You know, there's a detective. Someone gets <laughs> murdered. Kill yeah, he's there. And, you know, this, this is the kind of shit you get. Woken up. I woke up at 5 a.m. with sausage roll and coffee. He should be lucky. You know, at least he didn't wake up with, like, you know, 20 stab wounds in him. Yeah. Dead. Exactly. You don't want to wake up dead on a train. No, that would be a, a real... Crikey, that would ruin your day. Especially in the wrong city. There was that time I was in a... Um, I think I had to change trains at some point. I can't remember where the fuck I was going or what I was doing. But I went to the little cafe. The, the Skyburst Cafe or whatever the fuck You it's going called, on a right? journey is like the fucking... <clears throat> Boop, boop, boop. It's like Mr. Bean off on a fucking adventure oh. with his little, boop. <laughs> his little suitcase. Oh. <laughs> with my little teddy. Yeah. It's fucking that. So, yeah, I go to the cafe, I order a coffee. Oh. They, they hand it to me. I walk outside. I take just a few steps and the coffee just sloshes onto my hand. It's the hottest cup of coffee I've ever fucking had in my life. And of course, I can't just drop the coffee everywhere. So I put it down on the ground. And then in front of a whole fucking bunch of people that are just waiting for the train, I'm like, ah! Fuck! That, that does sound like but something But of course, you would I, did, do. I had the chemist training from my youth of actually not just fucking sloshing a hot, dangerous liquid around. I put it down and then reacted. Nice. And then you but, were arrested. And then I had to pick it up again and like, just wait around whilst everyone was staring at me. You do do this. You make a fuss. The thing You're is, a fussy could I, fuss boy. I could have gone back into the you cafe. You make a scene. I could have gone back into the cafe and been like a real Karen about it. Say, excuse me, this coffee you gave me, it's hot. All right. Yeah, you could have done. A lot of people. What would... are you going to do about it? How do you feel? I, I, was, I was at the Bristol Market the other day, mm. and a woman 
with her son. Oh, was there no. with her little son, a little boy. Oh no! And she was like, "What do you want?" And he was like, "I don't know." So they were picking like a sausage to have, a hot dog sausage, from this hot dog thing. Anyway, he got himself a sausage. Right. Walked away like a meter away from Seagull it. Seagull got it. Seagull comes straight down. Yeah. Scared the life Fucking out of him. Wankers. And off with the so- hot dog. Fucking verminous bastards. And so the hot dog people. Did he start crying? Obviously. Well, he was looked. He looked proper shocked about he it. Didn't honestly. cry. He was just. Didn't cry. Was just shocked. And his mum was like, turned around and was like. Get you another one. And I think they gave... I think they... The... And then he took two steps, and then the seagull swooped down, took the other sausage. She's like, it's all right, don't worry, we'll get you another one. And they went back. That fucking... That hot dog stand. Well, the hot dog stand gave him round the back for of free. The hot, round the back of the hot dog stand. Not for free. No, they They charged. did. They gave no, him they for free. They did. They, in this case, they did. It's a scam they got going. They <laughs> trained. They trained the, the seagulls. seagulls. Seagulls are round the back. When it drops the hot dog back off in the in the hot dog tray, yeah, it just recycles it for the next customer. Oh Jesus, that's disgusting. Yeah, if they can get it quick enough, well, there's a bite. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe you can like disguise the bite, you know, with a little bit of like put loads of mustard on it so the fuckers like choke on it or something. Right. Or the little kids. No, the seagulls, not the little kids. So they're in on it. You trained them. There's a racket. No, but if you want to get around it, if you want to break the cycle. Right. You have to make it unpalatable for the seagull. Maybe they swoop it up and then they spit it out and then you've got to quickly catch it in the bun. <laughs> so elderly news, kind of. I mean, the last one's a bit of a stretch. Yeah. We got a theme in the end, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think this was a nice one, you know. Vicar having sex with a hoover. Yeah, what a nice story. Massive penis on the old dead grandma's grave. Yeah, it could have been cock news. And then honestly. man f- falls asleep on a train and yeah. he doesn't go anywhere and there's no one hurt. So no one really was hurt by any... Well... He was the man that took the train. He was a surgeon and, and 14 people died because he wasn't able to go and perform operations on them. Well, um, well, it's God's will. <laughs> as it says in Matthew 4.20. Matthew four twenty. It's a very long, uh, <laughs> very long <laughs> verse of the Bible. That one. It's got all sorts in it. Yeah, it's a good one. I, re- mm. I recommend it. Um, Is that the one about the um, donkey dicks? I think there's a different verse. That is it. Yeah. How does it go? What is it? Ezekiel twenty three twenty. Sure. She remembered her lover with the penis like a donkey and a flood of semen like a horse. The Bible, everyone. <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> Elder News. Elder News. See ya. Wouldn't it be great if he just transformed? <laughs> what would he turn into? <laughs> like Daff. A... Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Hello, Simon. I've been the dog the whole time. I like it when you touch my ears. Or like this. Oh, yes, Simon. <laughs> oh, I like that. Oh, Borida. Borida. Bubbly gum. <laughs> Bubbly gum, Yakita. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. We're ending it. We're ending it on that. <laughs>